here we have the car out and it's been washed and then shampooed and rinsed. We're now going around looking at what needs painting. So clearly all of this, the apron up here, got a couple of bits of rust which I'm just going to have to pick up. I mean that's, that's you know really brand new surface rust there and that should have some primer on it to be honest. Um, this is just um, a dribble of rust but I need to sand this bit down here. Um, a couple of rough rusty bits along here. This top is um, not smooth, so that's all. So everything's going to get a bit of a sand. Um, here, it's clearly got some rust bubbles, but and down here as well. Um, this is just overspray, so everything will get a 600 grit, and I've started along the front here. So we're going to sand everything to 600. I'm not going to do this front wing or the bonnet because they've both been painted already. Although I have managed to create some scratches in the front wing, so we'll um, we'll, t we'll uh, allow a bit of overpaint both on there oh, and on here. Um, so actually, yeah, we will be doing a little bit of painting of them both, but I'll just do those as overspray rather than anything else. So. Um, that's what we're now working on. Okay, so we've coated everything twice with 600 grit. So looks like it needs a wash again now to clean all this off. So we're going to get the hose back out. We'll give it another wash and have a look if I think I'm ready to get started. Okay, so we're getting ready to paint. I'm not going to try to do the whole thing in one go because, well, the most I've ever done is one panel at a time. But I do think I'm going to try to do more than one panel. Uh, I haven't quite decided yet. And obviously I can't actually, I don't have space on the other side to be able to do that side. Um, I don't have enough distance, so... I suppose, I mean, I could have moved the car so I could do it all in one go, but since I'm not planning to, um, I won't worry about that. So, um, next stage is I need to wipe the whole car down um, with methylated spirit, and I'm, this is to clean it up. Uh, I'm running a bit short, so I might end up having to go and buy some. Um, but we'll get started on that and see how we get on there. Okay, so I've put one coat on along this side. Um, the paint certainly manages to bring out the dents. So I can actually, before I couldn't see it, but I can see that where I did the welding has caused that to go in here. And I've got another small dent. Uh, a bit of a run just here. Um, I did manage to get the top done. And the back, I've got a run here as well. Um, we've got the back done, and actually, you know, it's not bad, it's not great, but it's not bad. Um, I think I missed a bit down the middle there, and then along this side, I didn't do the side, but I got the top done. And you can see at the front, uh, the bit which I just didn't quite have enough paint for. So that's fine, I'll mix up the same amount again. And... Um, then we'll give it another go. And we might have to do something about um, this bonnet or something. But, you know, I just I want to um, start by getting it out there. And that's actually, you know, not looking too bad. Um, it shows, really does show up there where I haven't quite got it prepared properly. Um, but, <laughs> You know, I thought I'd not done a bad job, but I guess I had. Anyway, um, so that's one coat on. Um, another coat on in about 15 minutes or so. Same amount. And then possibly a third. So that's what we're working on. Well, that's two coats. You can still see in there a bit the mist of the paint. Um, 
you know, that's not bad. We've got decent reflection there. Um, so that's all there. We've got a couple more runs, but um, it's oh, can't focus. There we go. Um, but it's not looking too bad at the moment. So we're going to do a third coat and we're going to leave it on three, I think. Um, I think that'll be fine for me. Um, so, yeah, quite pleased with it at the moment so far. Uh, still got to obviously do this side. Uh, actually, I'm a bit annoyed with myself now because if I had moved the car into the middle more, I could have done this aside as well. I was just, I guess, I was worried about trying to do too much. So, um, looking okay. So, we're going to do one more coat and um, then tomorrow we'll aim to do the other side. Right, three coats. I got interrupted during the third coat. Um, and so it's a little bit less even and some of the paint's a bit drier. Got interrupted because somebody's cooker stopped working or it was clicking all the time. And <laughs> instead of talking to Alexia, who knows about it, he insisted on talking to me. Um, but I think that looks pretty good. I mean, you know, not a professional job. Um, but, you know, you can see here, so you can see just there where my head is. I haven't quite got the reflection, that's where it's a bit drier. But overall, um, yeah, not too bad. Uh, but I do think I lost some of that shine on the third coat. Anyway, that's that. So we now need to clean everything up. And then um, tomorrow the target will be to get the other side done. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, the issue I've got, and I really should have done something about this, is well, I haven't painted. I've got spray coming down, and it wasn't covered. You can see I've got spray coming down and landing, and this is, um, it's therefore that's all gone matte. So I really should have done that better. Never mind. Um, so there we, there we are with it off. Um, as I said, it's not perfect, but actually. And that, you know, I've got one or two issues, but um, given it's the first time I've tried painting something of that size, um, fairly pleased with it. Um, when the chrome's on, I think it'll um, look quite good. I don't know why I make it so hard for myself. So, this panel, and this panel, both of which I'd done a decent job of painting before, because I didn't cover them yesterday. Um, um, I've had paint settle on them and they look absolutely dreadful now. So, today when we paint, everything's going to get covered, apart from these two panels, and then we're going to put a coat on both of those front ones again. Um, so it's, it's absolutely not a perfect job. Um, we have got some runs on the other side. Which we'll just wander around to. Um, so you, I, um, yeah, I'm not sure how well it's coming out in there, but um, it doesn't look too bad. Get down. Yeah, it's a bit misty here, so this is where I had a bit of dried paint. Um, but not bad. But you know, a few runs. But I can live with that because here's the point: it was to get it up and out. Um, and there's a couple of bits where I clearly didn't prep it well enough. Um, so, for example, here I cleaned off the rust, but I didn't then flatten it. Um, and then within the bonnet area, um, the apron or scuttle panel, um, you can see where I've really, um, and it's particularly bad down here, where I just didn't get it quite flat. So. Um, so actually, you know, from a distance it looks okay, but as soon as you get up close it doesn't. Um, but, like I said, I'm okay with that. Um, maybe next time. Uh, but right now, we'll finish off the painting. 
So I'm going to have to tape everything up again. Um, we'll get it painted and we will then um, hopefully I've ordered bits to fit the chrome but my plan is to get the chrome fitted today uh, this this week so we'll get the chrome fitted on it um, so from an outside apart from the bumpers externally it should be there or thereabouts and I can then move on to trying to sort the clutch again so I can actually change gears um, I need to do the electrics make sure all the lights work and um, the engine runs very rough so I need to tune the engine so I've got to do those and then I need to um, bleed the brakes replace the tires do the bumpers um, so quite a lot to do still but actually um, you know you consider where it was to what we now have um, um, the thing about this is I wanted to try doing it and I think I can do a better job um, but what I want to do is is do it and be able to drive it a bit and um, and enjoy it and keep fixing it as I'm doing that but also at the same time um, take another car right back to the chassis take the engine out and do it properly which will probably take about three or four years so if, if I did that um, then I think by the time I'm finished doing another one this one would be ready to do properly because um, that's what I'm hoping for is for it to really last about four years um, of regular driving right so we're gonna paint everything I was thinking about I could actually try using just buffing down uh, the panels that have been previously painted but I'm not going to to just at least give them one coat again I think that will bring it back out they're not going to be perfect anyway because I've got a mark in here which I haven't sanded down um, and as I keep saying I don't know if I'm trying to persuade myself I'm not after perfection here I'm after getting it on the road and then I can work from there certainly around here it's not going to look great but so what I've used is um, old shower curtains which is covering everything which I'm not painting so hopefully it won't seep through that and hopefully we'll get a decent finish so that's the plan okay three coats of paint nice shine couple of runs but that's okay so um, we're gonna it's the, the paint settled now as well so we're gonna take all the dust so we're gonna take the um, the um, shower curtains off all the markings and we'll see what it's like underneath uh, why don't we just do this one here straight away oh, piss bugger look at that still come through ah oh, dear okay so i'm gonna have to do something else to prevent it oh well we'll see i'll i'll come back in a minute okay i'm a little bit disappointed by this so um, where I've used the tape, you can see along here a nice line, so that's really kept the paint off. So that was proper car paint masking tape. But where I haven't, e.g. there where you know, I taped it all up in various ways, or across the top here, um, we've got some leakage through. And in fact, um, you can see here where... We had two covering a bit of it and not another bit. Uh, we've got a different colour. Um, we've got some leakage through here. I think that means all of my windows, because I had them covered with paper, probably have a bit of thin, thin film of black paint, which you can see sort of here, also on the front. So um, I'm going to have to find out how to clean that up now. 
I'm, I'm hoping for the panel that I could just buff it, so I'll try that first um, once it's cured, so give it 48 hours to really harden off and then I think I might try buffing it to see if that sorts that out. I hope it does. Um, uh, and as for the windows, I don't know what I would use on that, um, but I will Google it and find out. So I'm a bit disappointed, um, but actually I'm also, you know, I think it does look, um, you know, if you didn't have those blemishes, it actually looks, it's only from a distance, pretty good. Um, and I think with the chrome will look a lot better, so um, we'll move forward from here. So with the glass I used paint thinner, that seems to have done it and sorted the glass out, which is good. Um, I then tried a bit of paint thinner here, and um, well, it did make it better, but it also left me with those streaky marks. So I'm gonna um, do what I said before, I'm gonna give it 48 hours, and then I'm gonna try buffing it. Uh, but it's good to know the glass is okay. So that's where we're at. Okay, so, we had a little um, go with the um, buffing stuff. That seemed to sort out this side. I haven't done the other side yet, but um, so we went and put the chrome on. So we got the headlights in. We got chrome on the sides. We got chrome up and around the windows. All right. We got our wing mirrors on. Um, we got all of this in. We got our G2 badge on. Around the back, we have our lights in. We have the BGT badge, but it's not fixed in place yet. Um, I need to work out how that gets fixed. So. Um, G2 badge. Uh, don't have a joiner for here. Do on the other side, but not here. And I haven't um, buffed this area yet. So, okay. So looking pretty good. Um, so how am I feeling about it? Well, I'm a bit disappointed with myself with the paint job. Um, I know, not because it's, I mean, it's, well, if it was someone else, it's bad. Um, for me, well, I'm, a, I'm happy with it because I'm doing it myself and that kind of stuff, but I can do it better. And so I'm disappointed about that. Um, you might remember that um, I had only fixed this with screws. Well, I've gone and welded it on. I'm a bit disappointed right here, so um, the backing plate. I've welded it on, but I, I actually welded it too far over this way. Having measured it about three times, I still managed to um, get it in the wrong place. And so the chrome doesn't fit properly. So at some point I'm going to have to take that off, but for now, um, that, that's one of the things I can come back to. Um, so we've got the lights on, but most of them aren't working. So I need to, it's probably just loose connections, I'm hoping. Um, so we're going to work through the lights next time and try to get all the lighting working. Um, we have got second-hand bumpers, but we're going to pick that up at uh, another time. So, um, how am I feeling? Well, I'm actually, you know, it feels like um, a car, all right? It actually looks like a car. It feels like a car now. So, from that sort of point of view, I'm really very pleased with how it's going. Um, and the fact that I've got it this far, because I was worried that I would just um, give up. Where I'm less happy is I'm a bit disappointed with um, bits which I could do better because I've done them better before. All right, or bits that I rushed just because I wanted to get on um, when I knew I shouldn't. But um, I know that's my um, makeup. So, so there we are. So um, next week we're going to start on electrics.